In this video, I'm hunting my property. I purchased 60 acres of land this year, and I've been doing some pretty intense scouting on it, and pretty much found a pretty good place to hunt. Me and my son got a little bit of a late start coming in this morning, and he spotted a couple of does and was trying to make a sneak up on them. I told him he could shoot pretty much any doe in here that he wanted to shoot. I don't really have a management plan on this property yet since I just bought it. But hopefully we can have some big bucks in here. Maybe turn it into something special. There's a couple of big bucks already on it. I've got some trail cam picks of. Up in my stand I have this monster come walk by me and my son over in his stand as soon as this little buck walked by I heard him shoot and this is what's going on over there if you look in the right top corner you can see part of the marsh where these deer come easing out of there and they come in between these two pine thickets this open gap mostly all I see when I sit here is does and small bucks but I put him in here and this is what comes out pretty nice right buck right there He's fixed to turn the camcorder off, make the shot, and then turn the camcorder back on. It's hard to tell. That's blood on the tree. That means I got him. Well, my boy got him one. Made a good shot. He was sitting in that tree right there, right in the corner here. This was spot number one. I told him he could sit here. He could go past all this and double back and sit. He decided to watch this thick stuff right here. Said the buck come up through the wide open into this thick stuff. There he is. We're going to go catch this deer. Laying on the ground, dead. I ain't never seen that much hair blowed out of a deer from a gunshot. That's a lot of hair. All white hair too. That's a low hit. But that blood looks good. Hard to beat that blood. Looking at that hair right there, you'd instantly think that was a terrible shot with all that hair, wouldn't you? That's just crazy. You go about three steps and you got blood everywhere. Up on that tree, all the way I can see blood 20 yards from here. Yeah, I can see the blood from the tree. Thing. That, uh, <laughs> it's spraying, he's spraying blood. Yeah. Oh, I can see, I can see blood 20, 30 yards up there on the ground in fine straw. He went straight up through here, bud. I see the blood. Oh, I could not lie at the blood. It deer dead. We'll cut around this side. Probably laying right over this hump here. Yeah, he crashed right here. This where you heard him crash? Oh. 
you lose blood? I could say, I don't see how you can lose that kind of blood. But I see blood in the water on the side of the trees. Good night alive. Huh? He laying right up here. You see him? You about slid him open. That's why it looks so bad. All that white hair. Good night alive. That was a hard quarter and shot. Yeah. You almost gutted him. That was a deceiving shot. With all that hair right there. That's why I just got to slit him open. You slid him open good. He. That's why he bled so good. I got the heart. Yeah, you got the heart. Good Hold him antlers up there. <laughs> Lay your gun down. Make sure everything's on safety. Pointed away. Yeah. All that good stuff. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I debated. You debated on shooting him or not? I did. Uh, get over, I guess behind him. Drag him in the light real quick. Let's get I'll some good footage of him. Right there. there you go, that's a good spot. In the light. Well, kind of turn his head real slow. One direction than the other. Let me hear the story. Buck walked out and I shot him. <laughs> Come on, boy. <laughs> he, uh, I'm hunting between a thicket and a marsh uh, on my dad's property. And he came up from the marsh side in between the two marshes and worked his way up into the wide open. And when I first saw him, I grabbed my camcorder first because I didn't, I didn't think he'd be big enough to shoot. And I was filming him and he got right under my tree and I'm looking at him through the camcorder and going back and forth between the camcorder and him and he turned his head and I saw that he had good curve and so I said, well, I guess I will shoot him. So I put my camcorder away while he's 15 yards from the tree and get my gun set up. He's walking away from me now. I did a, did a hard quartering away shot at about 35 yards. So he didn't run. I guess we're about 50 yards from the tree, right? Or 50 yards from where he was standing. Pretty Broke good the shot. Ice. Broke the ice. Broke the ice, got the monkey off your back. I'm on the board. Finally got you a buck on top of that. Yeah, this is the first antlers I've seen hunting. You, you were doe hunting today. Uh, yeah. Brown That's what down. happens when you doe hunt during the rut. You end up killing a buck. He wasn't with a doe. It's just him that came through today. Yeah, but them does come through here every day pretty regular. And he's checking on them. I see a lot of does. I've seen eight does one day, six does another day, uh, four does, three does. Just every, every time I sit in here, I see does and small bucks. So he knew where they were. That's what he was looking for. He's looking for love. Yeah, he's been you earned his day. He got bark all over his antlers. Well, that's a good looking buck. Yeah, I'm happy. What you gonna do with him? Going do a year old mount or you going? I might, uh, I might get it. It's only, it's not expensive to get a skull done. I might get him sculled. He'll look good. Yeah. Of course, you have to get Jessica to start letting you hang your deer heads on the wall. Yeah, well, I think I can, I can find a place to put the skulls. It's hard to find a place to put the mounts. <laughs> a lot. Congratulations, buddy. I'm happy for you. Thank you. You made my day. <laughs> that little buck had it been about Oh, maybe 130 inches larger, I'd have killed him. <laughs> he needed to be about 130 inches larger than what he was. He a little bitty thing come by me. I get the little bucks, you get the big ones. How's that? We got a deal? Hey, if the bucks are in here moving, that means you're close. Boy, he does stink. I can smell it from here. He stinks. That's 
that's why I got you downwind. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>